Hello there, dear viewers. Welcome back to Arlo Plays Pikmin. As I so eloquently described in the previous episode, we are going to punch this forest navel right in its belly button. There's three more pieces here, and I am hoping that I can get all three in one day. I think I can. I'm pretty darn sure I can. I need a lot of each color for this one. Wait a second. How many are... Oh, there's three out there? That's weird. I didn't lose that many yesterday. I mean, I kind of did, but... Okay, whatever. Uh, okay. A good amount of these guys. Let's go for the even spread, I guess. I only need yellows to grab one off a ledge. I doubt the ledge is that big. I mean, I doubt the item up on the ledge is that big. I doubt I need more than like 15. That's usually how they do it, which is pretty nice of them to not be like, you need 50. But, uh, let's do this. We are gonna do it. It's gonna be great. It's gonna turn out great. I'm just glad there aren't a lot of like monsters around here. You'd think there would be just all over just to mess you up, you know? I could just run down there with my blues and grab that one. Hmm. Interesting. Interesting idea. I think I might. What is wrong with you guys? You're terrible at that. I think I'm only holding blue. Looks like it. Alrighty, so this piece is here. Go over here. This goes up there. I only need to do that bridge thing if I need rocks. Number one item jet. Unfortunately, this puts out a slightly odiferous exhaust, but does propel me to escape velocity in an instant. Stench is a small price to pay for such performance. Do this. Oh, this is easy. You just pick it up and there it is, right on dry land. Okay, well that's good. That was easy. I'll let uh, do a little more just so guys don't accidentally get pushed in the water. Okay. We will uh, come back for this one. Now we're going to, let's see, how do you go? I don't think I can get down there from here. I think I have to go around. Yeah, I do. Okay, that's fine. I think I will do this to back up. I didn't do this to run around. Dummy. I'm not good at this sometimes. I'm not good at the whole thinking thing. Okay, so we are grabbing all our dudes. And we are heading all 97 of our dudes. Oh, yeah, I got some planted, don't I? We're heading down to get that other part. Both other parts. Come on! No! No, guys! Yeah, I got him. Before they could kill him. That's nice. Where are those dudes? I saw them around here. Ah, oh, man. Uh, maybe we'll go hunting for him later. Oh, wait. It'll stay right here, won't it? Oh, I guess I just saw him from super far away. I don't want to leave him there. When I leave, then who plucks him? What, are they, what happens to him? Do they just die in the ground? Uh, I can't do that. This game. Got some quirks. I love it, though. I love it so much. Okay, we're going to have to very carefully bring our guys through here. Should be relatively easy. Just be careful. Squeeze along the edge. In fact, I don't even need to be squeezing if I just wait for the fire. 
Okay, um... I'm just gonna take... Like... As many yellow as I think I need to grab the part. And just like a couple blue. And we should be fine. That. Throw the yellow up there. Whoops. Do this. Yeah, it's a tiny one. And then we hope it also doesn't land in the uh, water. 15, yeah. Fingers crossed. Oh boy. No! Oh. My bad. Man, they must have beefed it really, really bad. <laughs> With the time that it flew off the edge. My daughter gave this to me. It's named after her astrological sign. My sweet little girl. I wonder what she's doing right at this moment. Now, this is certainly not something that you can just allow to go, because they're going to walk right through that fire. That's why you brought your reds. But I will allow the reds to just take it, because it's, uh, you know... Oh, there we go. I think that's 15. No? Watch now, it'll be 17. Oh, that's 15. Okay. Hopefully I have enough reds left to do get the next one too. I think I do. Yeah, you just do that. And then uh, that'll be it. That's gonna be it. Once I once I uh, get this piece out of the water, my analog computer. This computer conveys the kind of vague data that falls outside the range of ones and zeros. Actually, to be honest, a little bit too vague, so it isn't very helpful isn't very helpful. Goodness. I'm gonna chalk that up again to just him not understanding it. Hey man, that's it. We did it. That was not even hard. Oh, stop though. Please stop. Um, I got our reds. No, no, no. That was a yellow. I really got to redo the whole thing because I accidentally threw a yellow in there. Wait, oh, I don't have enough. <laughs> I don't have enough reds. Okay, we can do this. Maybe they'll get by. Nope. Okay, let me just see officially. How many reds do I have? Eighteen. That's wonderful. Uh, no, I, no, it's not gonna happen. I gotta come back. Great. It's fine. I got enough time. Can I make them climb up? No, I can only make them climb into the water. I've gotta just run all the way back. It's fine. I'm used to it. Let's do this. Oh boy. Woof! Oh, only lost one. Sorry, guy. I wasn't being careful. Yeah, I probably shouldn't be taking these risks with the fire the way it is in this game. Maybe on my way back up, I'll uh, go get those yellows. I don't know. I'm a little worried about not having enough time. But I'll have plenty of time while they're carrying it back, so... Yeah. Okay. I thought there were three hanging out, but I only see two. Maybe they're next to each other. No. Maybe. No, yeah, I'm, I'm just gonna run back. Focus on the part first. That is the most important. It would really stink to have to do a whole other day <laughs> because I wanted to go get those two guys. You will see your daughter again, dear Olimar. Squeeze through here. Come on. And we can just like, uh, I mean, we don't, 
I don't need that many. I'm not even gonna be collecting any baddies, I don't think. So I'm just gonna put a lot of guys away and not worry about the sprats. I already have enough red. Oh, no, because I want to grab that, too. So, let's just do that. Very good. Do not attack this stuff. Didn't you hear me? That I said with my human words. <laughs> Not within the game. Oh. That takes a maze. Very nice. Alright, 30's enough. Oh, I hate you. Just kidding, I love you. But you are frustrating. Doing good. Ship's looking like a ship again. I can't imagine that ship is very uh, aerodynamic with all those holes in it. They seriously trip every four seconds. Pretty aggravating. Every once in a while is one thing, but it's just too much. Three more? Yes. Cool. I'm unfettered. Once I get that part back, and I'm gonna run over here and grab these guys and sprouts so they don't have to live their life in the ground. Even though that means nothing. Whoa, you guys are still going. Where am I going? On the left. Yes. Uh, through here. Ow! I ran right into that. Sweet. Yeah, you can kind of see everything from way up high. I see. I saw these guys, and it didn't look like they were that far. Let's get that vantage point. Whoa, okay, right in the fire again. And I lost one of the guys I went to save because I'm just spacing out and running right into fire. There's a lot of things you can run into that you shouldn't, and I think fire is up there on the list. <laughs> things you should try to avoid running directly into repeatedly. Okay, I'm really glad I went for the part. I'm glad this all worked out, because, uh... Oh, right. Sprouts. Because we're not, you know, we got time, but it's not as comfortable as I would have liked. And we really, really, really stink to have to do all of the day. As an avid Pikmin player, I can't even tell you how many times that's happened. It's having to do a whole other day just to grab one thing. And it's like, it really doesn't matter. I'm not racing against anyone. I'm not writing down my scores here, how many days it takes me. But for some reason, <laughs> you know, for some reason that grates on me, just seeing one extra day there. Cool, everyone's accounted for. Last piece. It's good. Good timing. Yeah, some of the days here in the navel weren't that great, but uh, it turned out all right. Strengthens the outward emotions of the dolphin's computer. While it does make the computer smart, it also makes it quick to anger. It's just like my boss. Wah, 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 wow. So now we just need to get the 10 in the next level, the distance spring. And then on to the last last stage. Let's do it. Goodbye, Forest Naval. I cannot say that I will miss you. The distant spring has worse enemies, but overall, it's a lot more open. It's just more comfortable. You can kind of just go and just grab stuff. 
The navel is like kind of complicated and dark. Spring's nice and bright. Oh man, the problem with the spring though. Uh, we'll cover that in the next episode. Hopefully we won't see it in the next episode, but that, uh, the Smoky Prog, I don't know if you know what that is, but, uh, oh, 11 days since impact. It is very strange. The scenery of this planet, which I once found hostile, now sometimes strikes me as surprisingly serene. Perhaps the Pikmin have opened my heart to the beauty of this world. I even started thinking there were some parts I do not need. A daydream. Don't worry, Elamar. You're getting all your parts. Has anyone ever d beaten this game and not gotten all the parts? Because it's like, even if you... <laughs> Even if you're not gonna get the five that you don't like, how do you know which five? It's not like the five you don't need are like the super hard ones or something. You know, like who is actually going to get the medium ending? You'd have to try. You'd literally have to try. Figure out which one, anyway. Or just not beat the last boss. I think you don't need that one. Anyway, that wasn't a bad day. Turned out pretty good. Now we just got one more major level and then to the last level. So yeah, we will head right into the distant uh, into the distant spring in the next episode of Arlo Place Pigment. Stay tuned. <laughs>